There are literally thousands of definitions of resilience. I'm going to share with you my definition of resilience that I came up with. It's got three components to it. The first component talks to resilience is about proactive coping aimed at thriving in. Let's take the proactive coping. We know that life is going to throw us a series of curveballs, some ups, some downs. And people who are proactive and develop their resilience are more capable of dealing with life as it comes towards them. People who avoid it and ignore it typically have higher levels of stress. Now sure, there are going to be times where you just got to accept the situation for what it is. But proactive coping is really going to help you in the long run. The second part of that first definition is around thriving. And thriving is not about us bouncing back to where we were. I think it is about bouncing forward. And that's a fundamental difference when we talk about resilience. It's about the ability to be stronger as a result of the things that we've gone through. The second part of my definition of resilience talks to realizing that stress happens on a continent. From eustress to distress. Now eustress is positive stress. So for example, you decide to join a highly competitive, well-regarded organization. You have to learn the rules of the game. You have to perform, but you're choosing to be there. Or marriage, you, know, you find your life partner and you commit to them. That is eustress, positive stress. Then there is what we call distress, the negative stress. And that can be from minor things like your daily commute, maybe not always so minor if you've got a long commute, to your emails, to the bigger things, like losing somebody you really care about, or maybe losing your job. And then the final part, and really this talks to the million dollar question, how do we build resilience, is about looking at our four resilience reservoir pools and making deposits into them and developing them. Now those reservoir pools are your mental, your physical, your social emotional, and your spiritual. Let me just stop on the spiritual side because at this stage lots of people say, Mark, you know, religion that's a very personal choice, and it is. And religion can be a wellspring of resilience. But when I'm talking about spiritual in the context of this definition, I'm really talking about your purpose in life. So join us on the Henley Online Resilience Program so that you can develop these key life skills.